Hello friends, James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com. No New World next week this week, as I'm afraid both of my children are sick at the moment, so uh, I have no time. I'm running around after two sick children. I'm out on an errand right now getting stuff for them, so no New World next week. But, uh, boy, do I have uh, a, a special treat for you. We can kill two birds with one stone. You can get your James Evan Pilato fix via Corbett Report. And you can get a propaganda watch. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a recent edition of Morning Monarchy, which I'm sure you know by now is the daily uh, news podcast of James Evan Pilato over at MediaMonarchy.com. And I was listening to it this week, and he had a great breakdown of a CIA propaganda uh, piece, uh, basically a recruitment piece, trying to recruit psychologists for the CIA. Uh, it's crazy stuff, and... While James was playing the audio of this on his podcast, he was commenting on it, and his comments are spot on and perfect and funny and very apt. So I thought I would play that for you uh, so that you can enjoy James Evan Pilato's commentary on this CIA propaganda. If you're like me, I'm not. You want to use your psychology background for something meaningful. Would you like for us Something that? bigger than yourself. The CIA is the perfect place to make this happen. <laughs> Here, your talents make it possible for us to safeguard the national security of America through the collection and production of critical foreign intelligence for the president and senior policymakers. When I come to work each day, I know I am contributing to a mission greater than myself. As a psychologist, you might be wondering where you fit in at the CIA. Torture. There are a number of opportunities you can explore. Operations, you could be a human lighting. resources officer, Ooh. where you would provide substantive advice across a full range of <laughs> HR functional areas to include workforce planning, talent acquisition, staffing and selection, benefits, performance management, policy, and retention. Another exciting position is the leadership analyst. Mm. You would be analyzing and producing assessments you. of foreign leaders and other key decision makers in the political, economic, military, and science and technology industries. Or if you have a passion for world affairs, you could serve in the Directorate of Operations, <gasps> where you would help with the clandestine collection and dissemination of intelligence from human sources. <gasps> This so means exciting. you would be directly like involved in some of the most sensitive work this nation performs. The Director of Operations hires all backgrounds. But with your unique understanding of people, you may be better positioned to understand foreign nationals with access to information vital to our national security interests. Psychologists have successful careers as collection management officers, operations officers, or Torturous. staff operations officers. No matter what professional path you choose, a career in the CIA will give you a unique role in keeping not only the United States, but the world safer. You have a lot of career choices in the CIA. Now the only question is, where do you want to serve? For more information on available opportunities, please visit cia.gov slash careers. <laughs> Thank you, James. Now, I trust most of my viewers were able to pick up on the various bits and pieces that James was dropping out there like cookie crumbs. Um, and uh, It sounds humorous, but all of those little things that he was saying have, have some meaning and resonance to them. For example, when he brings up what can the psychologist do at the CIA? Torture? Yeah, that, that's a real, there's a real story behind that. And if for people who don't know, I'll throw a link into the article about Martin Seligman, who did the work on learned learned pessimism, learned optimism, and then how the, basically the military came in and said, hey, how can we turn this to our, uh, uh, to, to our advantage for torture purposes? So, uh, it, again, there's crazy stuff behind all of this that was being said there. Um, but it was a great breakdown. I love to hear that, so I thought I'd share it with you. And that's going to do it for Propaganda Watch this week. I hope to have another podcast out later this week. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how things go with the, the children. Anyway... Thank you for tuning in. Looking forward to talking to you again as soon as I can. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com. The Corbett Report is brought to you by you. Your support makes The Corbett Report possible. Sign up for the subscriber newsletter or purchase a DVD at CorbettReport.com support.